Hi Julian. Hi Patrick. Where are we going? To to Vienna. Yeah. <laughs> And we are in traffic jam. But Julian, yeah. you are not stuck in traffic, you are traffic. Okay, Patrick, what you want to share with the world today? Well, I want to talk about the strangeness of our lives going over the highway and people don't realizing that you have to do in Austria an emergency corridor when you are stuck in traffic right uh, which means if it goes slower and there's going to be a traffic jam all the people on the right have to go to the right and all the people on the left have to go to the left so there is a corridor that the ambulance can go through better and they've been talking about this for years and they've made advertising and it's on a lot of bridges they say form an emergency corridor and people just don't do it and I'm always wondering do people not know? That's strange because it was all over the media. Do people not care? Are they just assholes? Which would make me kind of sad. Or what else could be the reason? I don't know. So Patrick. Why you make this vlog? Why do I make this vlog? Yes. That's an excellent question. I make this vlog because I see it as a form of art. Because every day I'm producing something new. Every day I'm producing something creative. So every day there is this challenge. What can I produce today? What can I show to you today? What storyline do I want to build up? Like what's the beginning, what's the middle, what's the end? What's the yeah, story uh, which I want to show the people today? So why do I do this vlog? Because it's some sort of self-expression I would say. I'm expressing myself, I'm expressing my thoughts, I'm showing the world my worldview and what I think how I should how the world should be and that's one window to the world where I can yeah make use and and transmit those ideas all away to the whole world I think how do you like your car this car yes well I don't want to talk bad about this car 
because I'm sitting in it and it drives with me so if I say something bad about this car it may not drive as good no um, we're driving now in the Ford Fiesta and I must say it is a pretty shitty car and I can tell you why well first of all there's some strange kind of feeling when you uh, go down from the gas a normal car starts to break you know the engine breaks when they go down here nothing happen, happens it goes it goes on and then suddenly it starts to break slowly so I don't know why this is like this they produce it I guess on purpose like this but that's something which really disturbs me but then the car the next thing is it it uses a lot of um, gas actually like I can press here and I can see okay it's 5.7 liters per 100 kilometers 5.7 liters for 100 kilometers which is so much I mean this car is for two people it's really small and it uses almost six liters per 100 kilometers which is so much so I don't understand why this car has to use so much uh, gasoline I have no idea so that's the second thing which disturbs me the third one is you can feel from the materials and everything that it's not very how do you say expensively produced that's all like plastic you can feel it it doesn't feel good the car so I understand if I would have a company and if I had a company and I would have I'd have to buy a lot of cars I would also do it like this because it's probably not that expensive but for me personally I would never buy this car so would you prefer public transport systems in general what do you mean yes instead of your car well it's a difficult question because uh, the job with all the material it wouldn't be possible to use public transport of course, I personally would prefer sitting in a train and sleeping instead of driving all the way. Of course, that I would prefer. Public transport system is better for the environment, much, much better. That's also something I would prefer. So yes, definitely I would prefer public transport systems. The only advantage is that I'm more flexible with the car. But all the other things, all the other things are worse.